Back to the kitchen now, where Wendy joins our guest chef today, Eddie Iziri from Apollonia Grill. And we are going to learn how to debone fish. Yes. That's pretty amazing, and that's something I have never, ever in my life done. Yeah, it's, um, a lot of people find it very intimidating to do it, a um, whole fish. So that's why I thought about uh, bringing this recipe today. Um, okay. We also feature this fish and this dish in our menu all the time okay. um, at the restaurant. So uh, it's a good chance for our customers to see how we do it at the restaurant. Ah, there you <laughs> go. And this is going to, you're, it, it's a three-step process from what I understand because you've got the actual fish, this mm -hmm. is the fresh fish, then you have to bake it, and then this is the end result so after it's been deboned. The fish that we have, it's a Mediterranean sea bass. Um, it's called Brazino. It's called other names, like in Greek it's called Lavraki, or in France it's called uh, Loup de Mer, uh, but it's the same fish, it's a Mediterranean sea bass. It's, uh, it's fantastic, it's very mild, and I'm going to sl uh, slice here as, uh, as I talk about it. It's very mild, and uh, it's sweet flavor, um, and it's easy to cook, uh, yeah. and it cooks pretty fast. And it's very popular. <laughs> it very is very popular. popular yeah. uh, so what I'm doing here, Wendy, is I'm kind of slicing it in the middle here, this will give us a nice chance to season the, season the fish because most of the time when you're eating whole fish, you can't get salt or lemon or any spices that you really like inside the fish. So this will get, uh, give us a chance to do it. Okay. The other thing, too, is that's going to serve purpose of uh, us filleting it later and deboning it, so taking it off after it's cooked. Now, we do a traditional way. We put it on the grill, so, but you can roast this in the oven. Okay. Uh, if you would grill it, I'm having a hard time with this one. It's a pretty big fish. I chose the largest one we had at the <laughs> restaurant for this one. So I'll go here. Here we go. So um, if, you, uh, if you would grill it, you would have to use a, um, uh, called a fish basket. So you would put it kind of like when you're grilling vegetables in a basket so they don't fall down on mm -hmm. the grates. Uh, so you put it in there. That way it allows you uh, the fish not to stick on the grill and it doesn't fall apart on you. Very good. So you're pretty much doing a V uh, neck over here underneath the, the head and then a long line so you're feeling the bone. So do it really deep so that way you can, uh, you can feel the bone in there. So okay. that's pretty much it. We will season this with uh, their spices. Um, this is on the recipe that you can find it online. Uh, it's basically salt, pepper, oregano, garlic, and um, pepper. Oh, uh, that's easy. Did I repeat myself two no. times? Maybe I did. I don't know. <laughs> I think I call them pretty much. So that's pretty much it. You would put it on the basket or you would put it on the, uh, on the oven and you would cook it. Okay. And then the way it comes out, obviously we don't have the time to cook it, so it comes out like this. Right. So this is the, the part that it's, I think, the, you know, it's more fun. Uh, it's deboning the fish. Uh, it could be very, you know, uh, scary for some people, but it's very easy. Remember that line that we did earlier? Yes. That cut, that slice? So we're going to go with a spoon, or in this case, a pizza spatula or any kind of small spatula you have, and then feel the bone through there. And then and just kind of dig in there to get that fillet pop open just like that. Okay. And then once you get it open, do the same side, the same uh, on the other side, open that up. And then we're going to use our fork, just kind of rotate the head to separate it from the skeleton or the bones. We'll leave that on the side. And then just kind of lift the bones. All fish is the same, so you would do this for snapper or uh, any kind of small fish that you can, you know, put on the grill. So we'll take that and we'll throw that away. There's a few bones in here, so just feel it with your hands and then to grab them one by one. Here we have a small tweezer. Oh, you have the tweezers? Mm -hmm. So you would take them on one by one, put them on the side. So I'm feeling them, just like that one. Be a little patient with it, and you can take them. There's usually about nine bones across the, from top and this one, so it's about nine bones. We just want to let you know that you can always follow this procedure by going to our website, mm -hmm. look up the dining page, and you'll be able to find this recipe and how to debone a fish. And of course, my recommendation is just to go to the restaurant. <laughs> That's right. That's probably your very best bet. <laughs> and we are going to be right back. And thank you so much. Thank Chef you, Wendy. Eddie. Thank you. Thanks.